dramatic U.S. raid in northeastern Syria. Four American special operations soldiers and a service dog were wounded. A senior ISIS leader killed. ABC's Lama Hassan joins us now from London with the latest. Good morning to you, Lama. Yeah, good morning to you, Eva. This morning, three of those American Special Operations Forces and their combat dog are receiving treatment for their injuries at a U.S. medical facility in Iraq. All are said to be in a stable condition, and the fourth service member has already returned to duty. Now, CENTCOM releasing a brief statement describing what happened. On Thursday night, U.S. troops working alongside the Syrian Democratic Forces, the SDF, they were conducting a helicopter raid in northern Syria. The target was senior ISIS leader Hamza al-Humsi. He was in charge of the group's deadly terrorist network in eastern Syria. And when the troops arrived, he detonated an explosive device, the blast, killing him and wounding the Americans. No other ISIS fighters were killed or captured in this operation. Now, there are some 900 U.S. troops in northeastern Syria, and their work is critical because even though ISIS has largely been defeated since 2019, the terror group is still a threat inspiring its followers to carry out violent attacks. Wit. An important reminder, Lama. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.